My name is Steve Fitzgerald, and welcome to this Oregon State University Extension Program, Managing Your Forest Land. We hope that you find this self-directed learning module useful as you explore how to go about managing your forest land. You might be thinking, why would I want to manage my forest? Why not just let nature take its course and then sit back and enjoy? Certainly that's one approach, and your forest may be where you want it to be today. But forests are dynamic systems and they constantly change. Is your forest growing and changing in a way that will continue to meet your goals? Some form of active management may be needed to help guide your forest in the direction that you want. Actively managing your forest can have many benefits that you may not be aware of. For example, planting tree seedlings where they are lacking can improve the productivity of your property and improve wildlife habitat. Thinning your forest can improve tree health and help protect against some diseases, insects, and even wildfire. And harvesting trees can also provide periodic income if that's an important objective of yours. So the first step is to decide what you want your forest to look like when it grows up. The vision that you develop for your forest will help give you a sense of purpose and direction. But developing a vision may take a little time. You'll want to consult with a forester or a biologist who can provide ideas about your property's potential. A big consideration in developing your vision is what do you have to work with? The type of forest you have now and its condition, such as its health, age, or productivity, influences what you need to do to move it in the direction you want. Is your forest comprised of trees of all the same age and species, such as an even age forest? Does your forest contain different species and a range of ages, what is called an uneven age forest? Is your forest well stocked with trees and are they healthy? Or is your forest understocked and in poor condition? Listen to Chris and Donna Heffernan tell their story about how they developed the vision for their property and what they did to make that vision a reality. Hi, I'm Donna Heffernan. This is my husband, Chris Heffernan. We're in North Powder, Oregon. And we originally bought this ranch in 1992. Yeah. And I had worked for the Forest Service and had been retired raising children. And when we moved up into this area, we could see um, the potential of this ranch. And we weren't sure how we were going to pay for this piece of property. And then Chris <laughs> saw the trucks rolling down the highway with smaller diameter wood. And it was like the light bulb came on that there is a chance that maybe this ground could pay for itself if we went in and managed it correctly. We got real excited, um, and probably especially me, and thank God she followed me, and she's hardly retired. But uh, yeah, the, the light went on that uh, there was an opportunity here for a tremendous amount of, uh, of timber resource. And uh, that's when we went hard to work on the economics of it, surrounded ourselves with some quality people from uh, OSU to you know, state forestry, fish and wildlife, and some private foresters that have been uh, been in this area and this region for years and years, and really, you know, some good old whiskers that really knew uh, what works and what doesn't. But we learned real quick that we were, had a golden opportunity and, and, a, and an awesome opportunity to end up with a piece of the rock in a beautiful part of northeastern Oregon. We also started our vision. We um wrote a stewardship plan. We used ODF and W, um, ODF, OSU. We had a professional forester help us write the stewardship plan. We've updated that after 10 years. We did an, an update of our stewardship plan and that was the start of our vision and we have held pretty close to our general, our first ideas that we uh, came up with with that stewardship plan. And we've added and subtracted to it, but it was a perfect place to start. It got all our ideas down on paper and we had a lot of professional help do that with us and uh, got the place now to you know place we'd like to be as far as being able to just leave it alone and let it uh, grow and do its thing for the next 10 20 years until uh, there's either another market or uh, or a mill or uh, an opportunity to come back in and do the next uh, level of thinning uh, when this timber gets to the the right stand and right age it's been a blast the whole way and it's been an incredible place to raise two sons, so it's been a, it's been a great ride and, and hopefully we'll continue for many more years. Once you've developed a vision for your property and you understand what you have to work with, the second step is to develop an action plan. 
It may take years or even decades to realize your ultimate dreams for your forest, and that's okay. Each step along the way can be both exciting and rewarding, so enjoy the journey.